March 1942. The Mid-Atlantic Gap. The ocean is burning. German U-boats are slaughtering Allied convoys faster than we can build them. Sailors are freezing to death in the black water or burning alive in oil slicks. Britain is starving. The free world is losing. We didn't need a miracle. We needed a monster. Enter Jeffrey Pike, a disheveled genius with a plan so insane, the generals thought he was joking. He proposed Project Habakkuk, a floating island, 2,000 feet long, made of a secret material called pikrete, a mixture of wood pulp and ice, harder than concrete. A two million ton aircraft carrier that torpedoes couldn't sink because it would just absorb the blow. But they had to prove it worked. August 1943, the Quebec Conference. Right, Lord Mountbatten team. stands before Churchill and the American generals. To prove the ice is bulletproof, he draws his service revolver and fires point blank at a block of pikrete. Crack, the ice doesn't shatter. The bullet ricochets whizzing across the room and tearing through the pant leg of the US Fleet Admiral. The room freezes, but the point is made. The Americans are convinced. The iceberg carrier is a go. They built a massive prototype in the Canadian Rockies, but there was a fatal flaw. Under its own crushing weight, the ice began to flow like slow molasses. To stop the ship from warping, they needed a refrigeration plant so massive, it would use more steel than a regular carrier. The cheap ship had become a $100 million nightmare. The project was abandoned, but the prototype was so strong, it took three hot summers to finally melt. Today, the wreckage still lies at the bottom of Lake Patricia a haunting monument to a time when the world was so terrified of defeat that we tried to turn the ocean itself into a weapon.